Hi, we are so excited to announce the release of Profit Dial. And Profit Dial is um, something that you can use to manage your calls and your incoming calls. And you're probably asking, well, how is this really going to help me? Profit Dial is designed to give you the most flexibility to create that call experience that best matches your business. For example, say you've done some marketing for distressed sellers and someone calls in that phone number. You really want to think about what experience you want that caller to receive. And the reality is there are certain things that should automatically be triggered when they call your phone number. It should be easy to forward the call to your live seller service or to your cell phone number. And it should be easy to create tasks and trigger autoresponder campaigns. Let's take a quick look. From your dashboard, you can get into the profit dial from your name. So you would go under your name and system settings. And um, profit dial comes with one number, but it's easy to set up multiple phone numbers. Maybe you want to have a separate number for your cash buyers and another one for probate or one for bandit signs and different marketing materials. Um, so the first thing you have to do is really decide on what type of number you want to set up. And you can do that almost anything with both numbers. Uh, the difference really lies in what you plan to use the number for. So a business line is uh, a live answer capability. So you can set up routing and track marketing with this one. With information hotline, it's a message service. So when someone calls in, they'll hear a recording. And it's great for programs like bandit signs on wheels or free reports and uh, giving information 24-7 about your business. So if we were to choose um, one of these, we could select what area code we're looking for. Um, it's nice uh, because you can say um, something that you want to have repeating. Maybe you want to have a few ones repeating in there for ease. Um, and so one popped up right here. It's 904-601-1116 in Fernandina Beach. So if you were to select that, you get the option to use that number and um, it would charge you let's say $4.99 a month. So you would just purchase that additional number for $4.99 a month. I have two set up here, one information hotline. It's really easy to switch between the two. Um, Profit Dial makes it super easy. You would just reset the number type right here and select the business line, If you, for example, if you wanted to change over. So let's take a look at how we have the information hotline set up. I've named this one my main number. And um, step two, you would you set up your greeting. So you can either ha type in a message here and a robot would read whatever you typed in, or you could record something and um, use an existing recording. So for this example, I have first time caller set up as my uh, recording. In step three, you would set up your extensions. And from there, you just go to the extensions and, and set that up and click done. Then um, for the business line, that's a little different setup. So I um, have a, a, an example test business line. You would set up your call flow would be your next step. So this one would be your distressed seller call flow, for example. Or you could create a new call flow if you didn't have one already set up. And you would just click done. So I mentioned call flows. Let's go into call flows really quickly. So this distressed seller call flow, let's take a look. So um, you would first name your call flow and then um, you would set up different steps for this. So if we have an existing recording again or you could read a message, please leave a voicemail after the beep. Um, or we could read our distressed sellers um, recording that I already have set up. There's different actions that can take place after. Um, if someone has called and decided to leave a voicemail or if they have not left you a message, um, you can trigger a different workflow. So maybe you want to have different actions take place when someone does leave a message versus if someone does not leave a message. So you have that option there. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, some of the recordings. So um, just make sure that when you're um, 
saving a recording that you really uh, identify what that is because it's going to come in a drop down list when you're going to select the different recordings for the different functions. So um, this first one I have is set up for 123 Main Street, a property, and it just kind of gives a breakdown of the description of the property. The next recording I've saved is the first time caller, and then I have a different recording for buyers and a different recording for distressed sellers. Under extensions, I also want you to keep in mind uh, your naming convention on your extensions. So um, for me, I've got uh, all my information on my property 123 Main Street set up as extension 100 series. So if they're in front of the house, they're going to hear um, a different message versus um, if it's a Facebook ad, I have a different extension and that's just so that I can track where people are coming in from. So it's really the same recording that I'm going to use, but I just want to know if they're coming in from my Facebook ad. And then if I had a Craigslist ad, I would set that up as 102. And then um, from marketing materials, so for buyers, I have them coming in under 300 series extensions and then uh, for distressed sellers I have those coming in under 200 series and again if I had uh, a Facebook ad I would use 201 versus Craigslist ad I would use 202 so just keep in mind you want to um, really think about um, your naming conventions there so that is it for profit dial we'll have additional videos set up so that if you want to um, some examples of different call flows that you can set up be on the lookout for more videos and um, just get in there and start playing around it's a lot of fun thanks so much